.NET Developer Life just got so much better and so much cheaper because you don't have to buy and scrap a new one of these anymore. There are now Titan software upgrade for all recent models. And in this video, I'm going to show you the upgrade process from Tyson 7 to Tyson 8. So, the first step, the TV needs an internet connection and then we want to go into the settings. So first we go home, then we push the back button and then we go down here into settings to the very right most side, all settings. Then we go here to the very bottom where we have the software update option. And as you see here, we click update now. And then the system starts this little process here. And it provides us with this new overview where we select upgrade now. And then we get here a list which has the most important information as you see here that it's a Tyson OS version upgrade from 7 to 8. And then we click upgrade now to confirm the upgrade process and after that as you see here first it starts to download and then it starts to deploy. And of course the download speed greatly depends on the internet connection which you have and I'm doing this on my developer TV, which has a fast local, but a very slow remote connection. And now the next step is we've got here the One UI, we scroll through and we are back where we were. And then we can go here to check once again in the settings. And we see they slightly changed the layout of the settings. It's now here, all settings in the very front. And if we go again into software update, it does another check. And we see in principle we are up to date, but as is quite usual for Samsung, there sometimes is a small secondary update. And with this, we're basically clear to go. And with that, I'm very thankful for your attention. I hope this video was useful for you and see you soon. Bye bye.